Damian Lillard's hot streak, well, it's finally cooled down. After dropping 34 in a game one win, Lillard has averaged 21 points in three straight losses, including just 11 last night. But it is worth noting that Dame did have to leave in the third quarter after his knee buckled, and he is scheduled to get a second MRI today after the first one came back inclusive. So, Shannon, if Dame does not play, can we give him a letter grade for the four games that we did see it? Uh... I give him um I give him a B. Um, because I believe he carried the Blazers in, in the first victory skip. Scored 34 points, six threes, including three down the stretch in the fourth quarter. Game three, he had 34 and seven with five threes. He injured his finger late in the ball game. Or uh, game two, he injured his finger, but he played with dislocated finger uh in game three and played very, very well. And then last night it was it was basically over before it really got started and he ends up hurting his knee. But I think Dame has played well. The Blazers are the eighth seed. Now, that's what Skip tells me. Blazers are the eighth seed. I, I didn't tell you Yes, that. you did. That's the what you league told me. Told you no, that. no, no, you told me. You told me. I don't pay attention to the league. I listen to you. Because <laughs> you've been doing this. You've been in existence. Mm -hmm. You've been coming. Longer to, than the league. Like, yeah, yeah, longer than yeah. the league. Yeah. So, the eighth seed going against the one seed with two superstars, they shouldn't win. They shouldn't. You said they'd win two games. Okay. Yeah. But... It, hold on, is it the best two out of three? Is it the best four out of seven? So winning two games will get you what? Well, some experts known as Charles Barkley and Greg Anthony said Portland's going to win this series. Exactly. Uh. But here's the thing, Skip. They say that, and they win, they look like geniuses. Mm. They say that, they lose, and then what? They were the eighth seed. They weren't supposed to win. So there is no downside to saying to, to taking the, the approach that they took. Mm. My only point is, is that I think Dame has played well. Last night, notwithstanding, no one played well. But it was an avalanche. It got out of hand. I mean, they missed those shots. Skip, it was 15 nothing. No shots got uh, went in early, and it seemed like they got frustrated. They started every call. Whiteside was arguing every call. Melo was arguing. <laughs> Everybody was arguing calls. And the Lakers was going up and down the court. So for me, I'm going to give him a B in the games that he's played. Mm. Uh, I thought he's played well. But he's overmatched. The Lakers are a better team. He did win one game. Okay. Mm. So the Hall of Famer Shannon Sharp has taught me that Damian Lillard is a superstar. And I've heard the word come out of his mouth repeatedly over the last two weeks. He is special. Yes. So given that, I, I've got a grading by, I'm setting my bar way up here. He won a game. Yeah. Huh? He won a game. I don't know if he won the game, but they did win the first game thanks to LeBron going completely uh, so, quiet down the stretch. So why, why you got to blame Wait LeBron instead of giving him credit? Me. I, I've got a grade him by the okay. highest curve. Okay. I'm going to give him a D because I expected what? so much more. Well, you gave him a B, which yes. I, I was shocked you gave him that low. I thought you'd give him an A minus. <laughs> so, D, because everybody told me he has arrived. This is it. He owns the bubble. He's scoring 60 points a game. And I'm like, okay, now the playoffs start. Now you have a golden opportunity against the purple and gold of the Lakers to show me. Take over a game. Show me one. He did, game one. Show, show me a Donovan Mitchell game. Show me a Jamal Murray game. Just one game. He had one flurry in four games, and it was in mid-fourth quarter of game one. Okay. But LeBron still had a six-point lead with seven minutes to go, and LeBron came up completely empty down the stretch, missing two free throws. He scored two points over the last seven minutes on a tip-in. That's all you got. And LeBron missed a huge three with 30 seconds left that would have cut it to two. It was more about what LeBron didn't do because – after the third three, which came with about four minutes left in that fourth quarter, we didn't hear from Damian again. It wasn't like Donovan Mitchell finishes a game or Jamal finishes a game and an overtime. I've yet to see one of those games from Damian. And, and obviously in game three in the fourth quarter, it's a winnable game. And he goes one for six in the fourth quarter and 0 oh for four. So for the whole series, he's shooting 31% from the field. That's horrible and 33% from three. And, and again, I give you all that we've talked about. He is the greatest athlete rapper we've ever heard. There ain't nobody. Okay. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm telling you, but th this, this helped hype him as a basketball player. No. He is the smoothest long-distance three-point shooter I've ever seen. It is so smooth and effortless. I love to watch him shoot it. 
but he doesn't make enough of them when they really matter. Last night, it's do or die for them, basically, because it's two to one. You're going to fall down three to one. He doesn't make his first shot until they're down 24 points. That's not transcendent superstar. Skip, it was an avalanche, okay? It got out of hand, but it's a 1-8 matchup. And although we've seen eights beat one seeds, let's not pretend that the Lakers with AD and LeBron is probably more formidable than any other 1-8 matchup in history. Is he a superstar or not? He's, he's a star to me, but he's not superstar. So let me he's not in that top echelon. So let me ask you a question. Was Michael Jordan a superstar? Why, why do we always have to go back because to Michael Jordan? Don't, don't put Damian Lillard in the because same Because you, you tell him. me anybody that's transcendent, that's a superstar, should win one game. Why didn't Jordan win a game? Against the Boston Celtics? Are you kidding me? After he had broken his leg and missed most of the year. So he was playing and, on the ball. And against leg. the best wishes of the team doctors, he said, I want to play so, so in Ma the playoffs. So Michael Jordan scored 63 points on a broken leg. Well, he's just coming off it. It's probably what? tender. No, 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 no. He played in the regular season, too. Yeah. He, he played the last, what, two games? Uh, and he played yeah. the regular season. So the, so, the, so, the, so the leg was healed. Well, it's just stupid. We're just wasting our time. No. This. We're talking about Damian Lillard. That's my point. This, is, this was my point going in, and I told him this literally on the phone, so to his face. I told him, just show me. Show you show what? Me. Show me what you can do because the last two playoffs had ended so badly for him. He got swept by the Pelicans, and he got swept by the no-KD Golden State Warriors all four games close going to the fourth quarter, one they led. And in those fourth quarters, he shot 29% combined from three. So another, it's horrible. It's it, There's no clutch shooting here. So another, you can't do it when it matters the most. Okay, you want to make, make an argument? Okay, I'll give you that. Let, uh, um, being, get, getting swept by the Pelicans when you're the three seed by a six seed mm -hmm. is bad. But they got swept last year by the number one seed in Golden State, correct? Yeah, no KD. No KD. It's just two guards versus two guards, so, basically. But is that, is, that, is, that the same, is that the same team that won 73 and nine, went 73-9 and nine without KD with a unanimous MVP? Well, was that's, that, that was, what, three years before that? that was two, so, but, so, they, yeah. so, so they had played before in playoffs games without KD. Am I Are correct? you that guy or I'm, not? I'm, I'm, I'm saying, asking hold on, hold on, hold on, you. Hold on just a second. I'm just a, I'm just a second now. So in other words, so unless Dame Lillard, the only way he could convince you he was that guy... He needed to beat an eight seed, I mean a one seed, with two superstar players. Well, I, I just said, show me one game against the Lakers where you said, I took that game, game over game and one. I finished it. Game one. LeBron finished it by See, unfinishing it. Well, it was. So in other words, there was nothing he could have done because then you put it on LeBron. Well, LeBron didn't finish it. wasn't what Le, uh, uh, Dame did do. It was what the other guy didn't do. Okay, did Damian hit the two biggest shots of that game to close it off, the two daggers? No, it was Mello and Gary Trent Jr. Back to back, huge yeah, threes. Yeah. The game Damian was about to get didn't out of hand. score over the last what four and a half minutes. The, of the game, game was about to get out of hand. Mm -hmm. It was his his three threes right there in okay. the middle. I, I give you the flurry of three threes in the middle of the fourth quarter, but he did not take it home. Those other two made shots, and LeBron and AD went back to back to the free throw line and missed but, both their but, free throws. But skip. What it I was by default. But what I can't understand is that. It's, you won't give the guy credit when he does something. It's always default. You know, you always give Tom Brady, you say, you see what he did? But you don't mention about the other guys collapsing. You don't mention the interception. You said what he did against the Legion of Boom. But what about what Russ did, throwing the interception? What about what Matt Ryan and the Falcons, the collapse? You say it was all Tom Brady. Well, well you, think about this. Against the Legion of Boom. See, see? Down, wait a second. Down 24 to 14 going to the fourth quarter against that group. What One of the most intimidating forces we've ever seen in so this they, league. Think about this. He throws for 124 just in the fourth quarter and two touchdowns to win the game. And guess what? Wow. And see, and you mentioned what he did, but you don't mention what Seattle didn't do okay, like you do now. That's transcendent. I, I haven't seen it from Damien. <laughs> He's really good. He's a star. So why did he transcend I'm, Nick Foles? Uh, huh? Why did he transcend Nick Foles? Who? Tom, Tom Brady. Brady. Yeah. He set the all-time record in any playoff game ever played for passing yardage, 505. Guess no one's ever thrown for 505. Who scored the most points in a playoff game in NBA history? I don't know. You don't do care. know. He called a nail. Mm. That 63 is a nail. Tom Brady threw for the most yards in a game 
in playoff history in Cardinal. Because his coach, because his head coach, you benched see? the best defensive player, Malcolm Butler, who ended the Seattle Super Bowl. He got inexplicably, mysteriously benched for the entire game, and they gave up 41 to Nick Foles. That's why he lost. I'm sure he scored 33 so, I'm sure you lost. so the best defensive player, he be so Stephon Gilmore was not their best defensive player. It was Malcolm Butler. In, in which year? That, in that Super Bowl? Yes. I think he was. Yeah, he played the most snap, played more snaps than anybody. On the whole defense, he played the most. Yeah, Malcolm Butler was never better than Stephon played Gilmore. Played the most? It doesn't matter because you played the most, Skip. Okay. He was never better than Stephon Gilmore. Can you explain why he got benched? No, you can't. Can you explain mm. why you lost the game? Because Tom Brady got outplayed by Nick Foles. Oh, Nicky. I don't oh, think Nicky Foles, outplayed. that's what they call it. Nicky Foles, Little I Nicky think Foles. that's a new one uh, mm -hmm. around here, new nickname. Guys, since you already naturally transitioned to the NFL, <laughs> I want to stay talking about the Cowboys because Jerry Jones what? had some interesting comments about Dallas's interest Good. in Earl Thomas. We'll give you the latest uh -oh. next.